Is this a Megan Childress? Oh, yes. This is the kind of stuff why I bought it for. I was hoping for. Take a look in there. Is this another box? Uh -oh. the oh, nice! I'm 100 there now, 10, 110, 120, 130. I'm 30, 40, 50. I have 50, 60, 70. I have 160 there, 170, 180, 190. I have 180 here now, 190, and 190 there now, 200 here now, 2, 210, 220, 230. I have 220 there now, 230 there now, 40 now, 50, 75, now 3. I have 275 here now, 300. I'm at 275 here now, 3. 285. 285, 3. 290. 290, 3, 295, 300, now 310. I'm at 300 here, now 310. Let me take another look. <laughs> that boat motor is probably 5, 600 bucks. Yeah, I, I got 3, 310, 320. I have 310, now 320. Quick look. Three twenty. Three ten, right here, number zero. Boom. What's up? What the hails? What the hail did YouTube tell you? And what the hail happened at the Worcester auction? So Worcester. What happened in Worcester? So the first thing I saw that I liked there was a bunch of fishing poles. And a bunch of tackle boxes and other boxes in there. So I ended up buying that unit for three hundred and ten dollars, and I go to pay the guy, and he said, "Oh, it's three hundred bucks." I said, "No, I think I bought it for three ten. He goes, "No, three hundred. I'm like, "Okay." That works. Yeah, it worked. But I figured I bought what I saw, you know. So I only went in the unit for a second. I opened up two of the tackle boxes. One didn't have much in it. The other one had like five reels in the ta in, in the tackle box. So I felt better. And there's, a, there. and there's a bunch of bunch of poles, probably like 20 poles at least, you know. Wow. So I figured, well, that should be all right. And then they opened another unit right next to this one. So I already bought this one, and that was like a 10 by 10. And they opened a 10 by 20, and it's maybe 80% boxes. And it looked like the guy might have been like, I don't know if he was living in there. There's a couch with a blanket. Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire here, Second Sense Auctions, back out here in Woo Stir, Ohio, and I'm at the one of the two units I bought, and this is the small unit, and this is already the second video. So many great finds. We found knives, we got fishing items, we got vintage toys, all kind of stuff, tons of tools, and we only not even halfway through this unit. All this stuff packed up. We got this toad here. All these still tackle boxes loaded up. There's a box underneath this thing here. I mean, there's stuff on side of the shelf. This says miscellaneous catfish hooks. Oh, look at that. Brand new. All brand new hooks in here. So, nice little box lot right there. I spent $300 on this unit, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? Indiana Jones Chronicle, brand new cards, Notre Dame, Trolls, brand new sealed. And once again, 300 bucks on this unit. The other unit I got for $100, I only bought it because I bought this one. But I saw the fishing stuff, everything else packed up, I figured I got my money back. Fishing stuff, boat motor, and it's been whoo, paying off. Let's grab and check a couple tackle boxes out, Shane. 
the first few tackle boxes, unfortunately, they're all empty. Hopefully these, these sound like have something in it, so. <laughs> Not exactly what we wanted in it. I don't want to know what that is. You want to taste them, Shane? <laughs> so. Doesn't look like there's much in here. Empty containers. Let's see what's inside this one. Come on. Ah. Uh, oh! I see some on the bottom. Yes! Yes! Look at that, Shane. Money, money, money. We got the metal Lloyd reel. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fishing reels. So you don't know, a reel like this could be worth five, ten dollars. It could be worth a hundred dollars, ladies and gentlemen. But right there, five bucks a piece. You know, I mean, I only paid three hundred dollars for the unit, and that's a good sign because we found a bunch of reels. We got all those poles over there. Let's see what's inside this tote. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Look at this. A train right on top. How do I keep finding trains? Scientific Toy Company. So that's it. More toys we're finding. What else is in here? We got all these cool shamel dolls. Got cutters and screwdrivers and that collector baseball bats, Cleveland Indians, Canal Park, Akron Arrows, Akron Arrows, those are minor league teams, what else is going to be in here, oh my gosh that's heavy, what is that, what is that? Eagle in there. It's all kind of falling apart. Where's the top for that piece though? <laughs> Avon pipe. See, like I said, no rhyme, no reason to storage in your business. You know, you got paint cans, you got tools, you got wooden block. I don't even know. There's a down here. And this is for a fish tank, so. Unbelievable, and one one box car for a train. Unbelievable, but we'll have to get, move some of this stuff out of our way, and we'll load up some more stuff, see what else we find. I want to see there's a little toolbox back there, and there's another box. Let's move this thing off, see what we got. Holy smoke, chain! Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen packs stacked up here. Hopefully, there's some stuff in all those boxes. Oh, well, there's something in here. There's something in here. Hopefully, it's not a brick. House. Mighty, mighty. Let. Oh, sorry. Don't say brick house, man. You're gonna be dancing every time. Nope. Oh, nothing's in the top. Okay. Looks like we got to -to 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 tools. Uh, these old chisels and stuff, or some cash. But tools, all we sell. Man, look at all these boxes. What's in this box? Oh. oh, interesting. One of those little stoves. Heck yeah, camping stove. Casino money. They must have spent it all at the casino. That's probably why they lost their storage unit. Make sure there's no money in there, though. Empty. That was Atlantic City money. Hope they got there. Oh, look at this. 
Brand new controller for the Xbox. Brand new Freedom First flag. So you can better play. What is this? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, man, look at this. Die cast cars. Loaded all different race cars, Shane. What is this? It's a Craftsman telephone? Hello, Shane. I guess you could drop it. It's going to keep working, so. Oh, it's a paging system? So I could put this in, like, page chain, and he'd be like, Oh, the boss is paging me! So, man, we got die-cast cards, brand new items, video game stuff, camp stove, and empty casino money jars. Like I said, I hope... Obviously, they didn't win big, because or they did, and that's why they left the locker. They got so much money, Shane, they're like, we don't care about all the good stuff in our unit anymore. Well, that doesn't sound good. So this one feels empty. This one feels empty. This one does not feel empty. Why would you have all these tackle boxes? You know? These are the ones you borrowed from your friends. Never returned. Just an empty table box. This one gets something in there. So we got some lures in there. Looks like some more lures on this side. So that's something. And man, look at all these boxes. It's an empty box, but hopefully one of them is going to fill with money. I think, I think there's something down there, actually. Think so? That's what I like to hear, Shane. Well, maybe not. Shane! I've seen it once. I thought it was a, like a bobber or something. A couple of things in there. Better than nothing. Beggars can't be choosers. Wow. I was really hoping all these were going to be loaded with tackle. All we found one that was loaded with fishing reels. Maybe we'll find another one loaded with fishing reels or bobbers. <laughs> Once again, each of these boxes are worth money. That's a nice box. So, wow, wow, wow. How many fishing boxes have we got? It's never had. This one has something in it. Some hooks, wires, we got some flies in there. Like I said, this one has something, not much. So we got there's this big old box here. Nice box, it's just empty, 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 empty. But we do got boxes there, boxes there. This one has a few little pieces in it. Let's try this big one here. I think it's empty. So we're going to have to load up all these tackle boxes. We're going to get these boxes in the back. We found so many great things. There's tons of boxes over here. There's a dresser. The dresser might be full. Who knows what we're going to find. Look at that. It's like a brand new Swiffer. Wet jet vac. So that's nice. That's gotta be worth like 20 bucks, right? 10 bucks. Speaking of bucks, we're making a few. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh! Whatever it is. Oh, it's so heavy. That's oh, a pressure washer. That's an old school little pressure washer. Oh my gosh. Oh, whatever's in here, it is heavy. What the? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Right there, we got a piece of jewelry. I mean, why would you, you know, 
Like I said, no rhyme, no reason. This is all pens. I have no clue what's underneath it. Whatever it is, it's heavy. Vintage Game Boy. Missing the part around the screen, but that's okay. Oh, no way. Game Boy Color. Green one. That might be 50 bucks right there. Little DVD player, portable. There's so many wires, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this thing is getting better and better and better and better. Super Nintendo game. Door game, VR game. Right here. This is money all day long. The Super Advantage controller. This will give you a, you can make like, the keep putting B for you or whatever else. This gives you the heads up on the game. What else is in here? There's the flash system. Sherlock Holmes book. Sega Genesis thing. I just hope we find more video game stuff. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. What did I just say? More video games to look at. And it's got a game in the back, Sonic. That's a good game, Triple th Trouble. But these, I think, are around 50 bucks. No way. Well, controllers. I don't know what this is. That docking station. And right here should be our Super Nintendo. We got Super Nintendo, we got joysticks, joysticks. It's like for a banjo or a guitar. Got some old photos. Season's greeting. Oh, there's a whole stack of old photos here. Pretty cool. The dog. Military photo. So, man, vintage video games, military photos. This box right here, I mean, between a Super Nintendo, a Game Gear, two Game Boys, some games. I mean, yeah, I think we have all the cords. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see what else we find. Shane can't wait to see what else. You just never know in the store's locker business. I love my job. This unit's been amazing so far, and there's so much more to go through. But not every box can be amazing. I mean, I guess you you think these are all unbelievable, then yeah. But uh, plastic cups, collector cups. Now this is a box, you just don't know. I see old paper cutouts. I did see some adult magazine part or something over here, so I'm gonna try and make sure we don't see that. But look at this. 1953. We got old paper here. Yellowstone National Park, Department of Travel, 1915. Wow. This stuff. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So who knows what we're going to find in this box. But this box has the old stuff. I like old stuff. You guys know that. We got old kids books, Bible stories, animal storybook. Oh my gosh, look at this. 1917 Seed Company. Santa Claus. It's like Christmas today for me. That's for sure. First aid kit. More old kids books. Oh, what's this? 1996. 
Atlanta Braves World Champions. Instant Heat. Oh, there's a shoe box down there. I like shoe boxes. I don't know if it's, oh, it's a Scrabble, NHL Scrabble. Picture frame, pictures, and oh. You just never know what's gonna be on the box. <laughs> Bottom of the box like this, look at that. Button collection. Oh, nice. Vintage pipe. I have no clue what's in there, but we're gonna find out in a minute. There's a, there's a ring or something. Gloves, books. All right, so let's push this stuff on this side. The adult thing. Look at this. Toy puzzle of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Let's go to Nazareth. 1945 papers. Paper, National Geographic. Stamps and stories. So maybe they have a stamp collection. Something in here. What the heck is that? It's just like a holder. Oh, wow! A Something plane crash? Rocked. I don't even. Yeah, it looks like a plane crash. U.S. Air Force. What is that? Sharpening stone. Another wear wear box. Is there anything else in here? I'm sure there is. We'll have to figure it out. We'll look at everything thoroughly through the shop, but let's see what's in this little box. Safety patrol. Were you on the safety patrol at school, Shane? Hallway, hallway patrol. Get her down, Larry. The... No way. Listen, Shane. Come on, Shane. Get her done. That's fine. So weird, weird, weird. I am very, very interested to see. Let's take a look at this box first. Uh, graduation 1996 all right let's see what's inside this thing dun, 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 dun. we got North American life member of the fishing club Well, what's in this little box? Oh, yes. We got watches. Unfortunately, it don't look like anything too crazy. But it's always a good sign when you find jewelry, watches. See, some of these could be gold filled, they could be gold plated, they could be gold, but they're not. Get some more jewelry. So, what an interesting box, old pipe, and then all these buttons. Let's go through a few more things, see what else we can find. So we got another taped up box. It says thermals, socks, and clothing, so it might just be all that, but. Weapons. You just never know. And you might find some vintage t-shirts in there now. It's a 
Bass Pro Shop. So obviously this person likes fishing. Oh, nice. Is that a Harley shirt? Harley shirts are always worth money. Is this shirt? Oh, no way. Is that a Jimmy Hendrix t-shirt? Oh, man. is sweet so definitely money magic mike's pretty good gargoyle garage another gargoyle garage shirt so who knows you know i'm just and some vintage t-shirts can be worth big money thousands of dollars zombie so that's kind of cool and I like the Harley shirt. I sold some of these for good money. Awesome. So this unit just keeps giving and giving. Once again, 300 bucks. I already feel like I'm ahead. This is the boat motor. Look at that. Brand new. You know, you go buy this at the store, you know, at least 30 bucks. Yes! yes! Look at this! Vintage toys. These are old little cars here. I had these when I was a kid. These are really cheap ones, but they're probably worth money now because, you know, they're the old vintage cars kids had. Man, what else could be in here? We all know that's money. See, this is for the, the trucks put this in the walls and everything. Look at that. Pitch. Brand new gloves. More gloves in here. And a hat. So. Oh. Is there more? Oh, there's more cars? Come on, let's get some Hot Wheel Red Line. These bad boys. So you got different race cars in here. Pretty cool. So it gets me excited, man. Now I'm finding toys, fishing stuff, tools, brand new items. And we're just starting. And you know, I thought this might be a quick unit. It's gonna take longer than I thought. And there's another box. Oh, I don't know. Kind of exciting. It's, it depends on how this is written. I read what it says. Bear mugs, knives, kitchen. Now is that kitchen nice, or is it knives and kitchen stuff? That's the big question. If it's knives, this guy's a hunter, fisherman. Could be some big money stuff in this. Thing. and kitchen knife. So not as great as I was hoping. Man, when you first see knives, it's like, oh, they're hunting knives. And I like this little shop, though. Uh, we got so much more to go through. I can't wait to see what else we're going to Man, more unbelievable finds from this unit. We try to get, there's these one, two, three fish tanks here. Look at all these fishing holes, guys. I can't even tell you how many there are right there. But once again, I paid $300 for the unit. 10 bucks a piece. Do the math, five bucks a piece. That's why I bought the unit. So everything else was bonus. I figured between all these poles, all the tackle boxes, and that boat motor, <laughs> I figured I was gonna make my money back. And hopefully find some treasures, and we've been finding some treasures. This looks like uh, there's some cool sandpaper. Oh my gosh. What kind of knife in there? It looks like just a kitchen or a drawer lot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Cool stuff. 
kitchen knife. Let's try to get in here. Oh! Is this a Megan Children's? This is the kind of stuff why I bought it for. I was hoping for. Take a look in there. Oh, if that's for the children. Holy smoke, guys. An aerator for the pumps. But look at this. I mean, we got how many fishing reels in here? At least 20. Oh, what is it called? It's a half on there. So, once again, guys, fishing reels, fishing poles, fishing boat motor, all my money back, and so much more to go through. Then we've been finding all kinds of unexpected finds. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe it. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys have no clue. I'm trying not to ruin the box. I know this is money right now. Guys, brand new. And uh, they're all the same. There's four of these, brand new. I have no clue what they're worth. They might not be worth much, but 10 bucks a piece, that's 40 bucks. I might give one to my son. I don't think I've ever they... seen that before. Yeah, a power boom with. Isn't that kind of cool though? That's really cool. So, I mean, this this unit just keeps surprising, surprising. Look at all those boxes stacked up, Shane. You know, our stack goes all the way down here. There's a dresser. Who knows? Man. Oh. Kitchen. It's a kitchen, but Alabama hat. Charles Barkley. Notebooks, notebooks, notebooks. Afghans. So. You just never know with these kind of boxes. Start going fast speed here. More tools. Branches strap. Aprons. Definitely money item. Oh, there we go. We got some lures. These frogs always sell well. Back completely empty. Do you like that? So these are those weird boxes, and you just don't know what you're going to find when you open them up. That old picture. Uh, so we got some uh, adult movies. Okay. <laughs> and it's like I'm winning the lottery, guys. Look at all this. There's where your money went between gambling and the lottery and uh, spending your money at the casino. Look at all those. Just add up all that money, ladies and gentlemen. Should have paid your rent for the unit. So just a hodgepodge of stuff here. Brand new car church for the fish stuff. But on these in these boxes you just can find anything. Anything. Old miscellaneous jigs and hooks. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is all fishing stuff, Shane. Look at all this. It is loaded. And these are right, jigs and hooks. Whole thing full. I mean, something like this could go for 20, 30, 40, thank God I have gloves on. 40 bucks, who knows? There's so much to go through, what is this? No way. <laughs> you won't believe it, Shane. More of them. We got more of them. Whole Same other one. box, brand new, full. Wow, wow, wow. Hopefully those are worth money. You gotta be kidding me. Is this another box? Uh -oh. oh, nice! 
Nice. We got those, but now we got green booms. We got this beige one. And this whole box is full more of them, all brand new. So 10, 20 bucks a piece, guys. I mean, we're finding brand new, like, I guess, I don't know if you call it Toys Mom Weed Wagger. Tools, tools, and more tools. I have no clue. This thing says tools here. Another tackle box. Tackle box for more. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. Vintage buttons. <laughs> Bells. Boy Scout stuff. And we'll grab a couple more things, see what else we find. So there's so much stuff, guys. We couldn't go through everything. We still got more to go through. We'll, we might have to make another video. We'll have to see what else is in here. Let's take a look in this box here. Look at all this mess. Once again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Get your notifications. You never know what you're going to see, what we're going to buy. What is this? little pressure gauge and uh once again you can buy the stuff you see www.secondsense.com wow fitness big bird toys oh look at this little box you guys are gonna have to check it out see what we find wow 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 guys well guess what i bought two units so this unit i paid 100 dollars for it's packed it's stacked no one liked it there's a cigarette rolling machine there Guy was in here smoking cigarettes. He was like, oh, he's living in the unit. It's possible. Maybe he got divorced. Maybe he got kicked out of his house. Maybe something else happened. Who knows? Lost his job. But it'll be interesting to see. I've seen all these pavers right here. Definitely going to be some money. Car part there. I don't know. I'm very interested and intriguing to see what we'll find in this type of unit. So that's a nice one. Got some empty boxes. Stereo equipment, but it's packed. It's stacked all the way to the back. And uh, I guess all that heater right there. I saw that nice lamp right there. So I'm figuring there might be some stuff in here. So you guys are going to have to check back. I'll have to come back Tuesday. Let's see, let's take one quick peek in here. Oh, what's that? Right there. Oh, that. Some kind of carved, oh, it looks like some kind of smoking device, all hand carved. 